guys, it's your girl. We're here rocking off another video. And first of all, you should notice that I changed my intro and I changed my YouTube name to Brianna Camille instead of Bree TV because I felt like I was just trying to copy somebody that I saw on YouTube. I was like, oh, that's cool. But it wasn't me, you know? Like, don't just do stuff because you like it because everyone's not the same everybody's personality that didn't fit my personality it was cool i was trying to do something but no that wasn't for me so as you know we're in quarantine because of that good old baby rona <laughs> we're not able to go get our nails done i'm not really a person that goes and gets my nails done all the time and keeps up with them and the jewels and the crystals and the mm -mm. But I do like having the pleasure to get them done because occasionally I do like getting my nails done. So today we're gonna do our own nails. So the first thing, and yes, I bought this with my own money. First thing I bought was this nail UV lamp thing. And here's what it looks like. It's packaging real cute, real cute. No, and I got it all on Amazon. I got the beauty line and the kit. Amazon, sweetie. Not sponsored, but hey, follow if you get sponsored. Okay. So, it comes with a cord and then the actual light. And you get a little like thank you card and like a little keep up. Try to keep up with it. Keep it going so far. So yeah, so we have a lamp. Real professional. Real professional. You want to smell it? You want to smell everything, poo poo. Yeah. Hold on. So yeah, with the cord, and then I have the Macart Macart nail extension gel kit. And on the back, it has an instruction. But yeah. And I have the links to the nail kit and the UV light that I actually purchased. I will have a link below. And with the kit, it comes with. You know, of course, your gel colors, which is clear, bright white, natural pink, dark pink, light pink, and misty rose. Then you have the base coat and the top coat. Alongside with that, you do have the... Um, alongside that, you have the applicator. You have the applicator. And this has the brand on it. And then on one side, we have the actual little paintbrush looking thing where you paint the poly gel up there. And then on the other side, you have the actual applicator. So, again, that's what it looks like. I like it because it's double sided, so you can just flip, 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 you know, through convenient. Instead of having to pick up this brush and pick up this brush, you know. So, yeah. And then, outside that, you have the nail forms. I don't know if the nail forms is actually the right term terminology, but this is why I like to call them the nail forms. <laughs> no, you can't lick that. So, basically, instead of acrylic, how you have the tips and you lay the tips on and everything these are have tips you just use this as an actual form and you lay it on your nail and you'll see so we have these and then like I said what the world then like I said you have the top coat and yeah boy your breath is hot back up then you have the base coat and then because of a direction kit and frequently asked questions and then it also has the nail file 
and then, like I say, these new colors. No, please. All your new colors. Today I'm gonna use white because I'm plain Jane and I just love white. My favorite color is marble, so I would do marble, but it's my first time. Keep it simple, real simple. So yeah, like I said, your little colors or whatever, you know. And then I'll show y'all the actual colors, like the actual little like sample of actually how vibrant pigmented the color actually is. And in the next clip, the next clip will actually be a picture of the colors itself, like the samples, like I said. And then the clip after that, I will be actually showing you how I apply my poly gel nails. So now y'all, I got everything set up. And the first thing on the instructions says to file and clean your nail surface to keep oil and dust out. So first, we're just going to file our nails. Oh, and I forgot to tell y'all, but I previously watched some videos on how to do this. And just to get this not to stick to like because it's a sticky consistency for it not to keep sticking and sticking and sticking everywhere you go ahead and you get some 70 percent alcohol and you use it to apply it so it'll be easier for you to put on and stuff like that so it's just like a more easy and simple process and i already laid out my forms i sized my nails so i would know which is which already and i wouldn't have to worry about it and make sure when you put these on make sure you have these the little this part at the top at the very top because you don't want to put it at the bottom i know it may be a common sense thing but sometimes when you're just having an off day or whatever you might forget because everybody has those days i know for sure i had those and especially since quarantine mm -mm, i have not been keeping up honestly but yeah First thing to do is just to file all your nails. Okay, so now I have finished buffing or filing my nails and now you're supposed to paint your nails regular, like regular paint with the base coat and then go in with your UV light and cure it for two minutes. So let's put it on 60 seconds twice. 60 seconds, yeah, yeah. But again, I will have... So I will have the UV light that I got, I purchased on Amazon. I'll have that linked down below in the description box as well as the kit, you know, if I haven't said that yet, I'm pretty sure I have, but just let you know. So, yeah, now you just do the base, base coat, paint it two minutes, and cure it. Cure it is just basically, to me, it's just, uh, it's just a drying process, but, you know, with Jenna's, you have to dry, like, with the air. So, same thing, but, yeah, and cure it. Paint and cure and your paint. You know what I want. What I need, baby, to be Cured my nails with the what you call it? Oh yeah, with the thing. I done cured them with the UV light, and now it's time. Um, a quick tip: if you're doing this at home, it's your first time. I can use mine. When you cure the poly gel, it's not gonna feel hard like regular polish. Like when it's dry, it's hard. It's gonna feel tacky. That's just a quick tip, just so you don't be, just so that way you don't overcure your nails. <coughs> so yeah, 
I'm gonna take my first one. I think I'm gonna do my pinky first. No. What are you talking about? What's going on, buddy? There you go. Again in the alcohol. And like, don't take, well, since it's my first time, I'm not gonna, it's not gonna be like a telling you how to video. It's gonna be like a more of like a trial and error with me and just see what I do. So, since it's my first time doing this, I'm not gonna put like a whole bunch. I'm not gonna put like a whole bunch. Mm. That ain't look like Play Doh. Make it smooth. I'm trying. Mm. Oh, there you go. There you go, real smooth. And that it look too watered down. That's what that girl did, put it in the middle. I don't know. We're going to see how that turned out. This a mess. You ever watch something that looks so simple? Yeah. Mm -mm. But you know, you get better. Hopefully, I get better over time. Mm hmm. But like I did. After this nail, I'm gonna show y'all one more time how I do and see if it gets a little bit better. And we'll mm, see how the second round go. If it go any better, we'll see how that goes. Okay, now you're supposed to be able to just. Hold that one. That's weird. Not crazy. 
Gucci. Now how in the world? How do I? How do? Oh Lord, nigga, this is causing me anxiety. Look at y'all. Okay. 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 Got it on my. Hey, hey, hey. I'm gonna have to wash this because this junk. Sticky AF. And that's the truth. My nose bleeding because my finger is red. Let's see. His finger. Hmm. I feel like it's still looking too bad. So, we're going to see. Okay. Yeah, so we go back again with the part of yellow. Okay, and I think I'm gonna do something a little bit more thicker. So I think this time I'm gonna first put it down near the stuff. Then I'm gonna lay it down gradually like this. Instead of putting all on the on the top, I me mean, putting it on just at the bottom. Do it like this first. And I'm going to take this like this. And then keep going like that. And we're going to say that because, you know, the video, you don't want to be too thick. But you don't be too thin either. Or is it just the color just looking? I mean, I don't know. But y'all. Yeah, just a little more to see how this play out. Plus, like I said, it's my first time, so I'm really just playing around with it. So, as I do it a couple times, I know know more about it just how to do it and stuff just because okay honestly i was not expecting this to turn out right because it is my first time i was like oh it'll be all right it'll be all right it'll look okay child my new ass shit look okay actually look okay pretty proud of myself low-key hmm all this stuff is just sticky like I'm getting there with but I mean it is gel so but yeah y'all I'm going to finish my hand up, and then I'm going to come back and show y'all my results. I either might finish one hand up or might finish, go ahead and finish all of them. But either way, I'm going to still show y'all my results. I'll be right back. So, y'all, I just finished my first hand. Now, let's so, now I finished my nails. I'll put my lighter there. As you can see, the first set of nails, they look kind of rough. But, as long as I got right... So the second one, they don't look too, too good, too, too bad, but we'll see after. So I finished this and I already cured them and everything. I just had to recure this one because I had just put some extra poly gel in there. So that way, hopefully it'll stay like, because the ends are more thin. But, so I'm going to see if that actually stays. Yeah, because again, it's my first time doing these, my first time trying it out. So we'll see how I go. But... Yeah, and now I'm about to go ahead and I'm about to shape and file my nails so I can get the right shape because I want the coffin. I don't want like the square 
I want a coffin nail shape. So that's what I'm gonna try to get. But yeah. So yeah, I finished my nails. Here's the final look. And I know I need to touch up like around there. <laughs> Licking my feet, you know. So I know I need like touch up, do like yeah. touch ups and stuff. Mom, hey, what happened? Did you get this down? So, I know it's my first time. Like I said, I was expecting it to be really good, really great, but I think I did a good job for my first time. Still late, but I am not giving up. I will be trying this again and. Yeah, so let me know if y'all want to see me trying the poly gel part two and see if it's any better, any worse, if it's I have some challenges or whatever. But overall, I feel like I feel like if I keep doing this over and over and over and over and over again, I will know what to do. Because like I said, I already started getting good with the thickness, how much to use versus on this side, I first started out I was a little scared because I didn't know exactly just how much to use, but I thought I would get bigger and better. And I'm going to end this video here. So, without further ado, hold on. No! Come here! Come here! Without further ado, y'all, me and Noah, look, come here, me and Noah are saying peace. <laughs> Noah, you gotta tell them bye, look. <laughs> Noah, you gotta tell them bye. Me and Noah are saying bye, guys.